Hi y'all, what's up? We did a Q&A on our Instagram maybe a week or so back and I thought I would repurpose that here for YouTube because why not? You know, they're very commonly asked questions. They're coming straight from y'all and I'm just gonna answer them here. So I think we're just gonna get right to it. If you guys don't mind, please subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like this video if you learned something new and also share with your friends, your family, whoever you feel like could use a little bit of Q&A cannabis style. And that's it. Let's get right into it. But one of the first questions we got was, will CBD, specifically hemp flower, make you high? The straight up answer is no. Anything that we sell here in Texas is gonna be under the legal limit of 0.3% of Delta 9 THC. That amount of THC plus the amount of CBD percentage in that flower is never, ever, ever enough of a ratio to make you feel high. Now, however, it's not going to make you feel high, but it is good to note that this flower does contain that trace amount of THC. So if you are worried about drug testing, it could potentially show up. Do y'all have Delta 8 flower? And yes, we do. So our store does carry Delta 8 flower. This kind of flower, the base of it is hemp flower. So it's still under that point of Delta 9% TH, uh, Delta 9 THC. The Delta 8 is then coated, sprayed, however you want to put it um, scientifically on the hemp flower. So Delta 8, just a fun fact, does not grow naturally in high percentages in the cannabis plant. That is why it's being used as almost like a spray of coating on regular hemp flower because you still get the benefits of the THC product because Delta 8 is very much legal in Texas right now while this video is going out. And you can have a really great benefit from using Delta 8 that way. It's super quick, super effective. People really like it. Plus it has that high percent of CBD still in there. So personally, I like things when I go to a, um, a legal state of more of a one-to-one -one ratio. And the Delta 8 flower gives you that nice, mellow, chill experience. Do you ship? And yes, we have a website, restartcbd.com. We ship all over the US. Depending on where you are in the legalities of that state, it definitely depends on what you can purchase and what can be sent to you. So know that going into it, we have all, a huge array of products, whether it's edibles, smokables, topicals, pet products, full spectrum, isolate, Delta 8. Not every state has the same laws, so just make sure you double check what laws your state has. And then also we double check and we don't ship to certain areas if that product is not legal there. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, we have pretty much $5 shipping for standard. And if you're in Texas, it usually gets to you pretty quickly. If you have any questions about that, leave them in the comments below or you can contact us on Instagram or email. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, this is a really good one. How often should I be using CBD? And short answer is every day, you know, at least once a day, at least a small amount, a micro dose amount. Um, I personally have found the best benefits by using CBD daily, even if it's a lower dose than what I typically take. So for me, I take about 40 milligrams of CBD. It's my nighttime dose. And it's almost for me just a good way to make sure that CBD is working properly with my body. I have better long-term results. My body's able to function as it should be functioning. I don't feel as anxious as I was before using CBD. I feel like my body, I recover better after workouts. And so the more consistently you can be using CBD, the better results you're going to see long-term. I think the biggest mistake a lot of people make is they don't give CBD enough of a chance, whether it be they're at the wrong dose, whether they be they try it one time or for a week and they don't feel a difference, you have to, have to, have to give CBD a chance and build it up in your system. The best piece of advice is just do it for a month. Do it for a month, every day for a month. If it doesn't help you, then at least you tried it, you know. But if it does help you, then you know it took that little bit and now you're on this routine that I'm pretty sure you never wanna go back on. And by the way, we are doing an April challenge of 30 days of CBD. All you to do is take 20 milligrams of CBD a day. We have 30 mil bottles, so essentially it's like a month supply that we sell at Restart. And it's a great, great starting point. That 20 milligrams can be split up throughout the day. It can be taken all at once. You can take more than 20 milligrams, literally, however you want to do it. It's a challenge. We it on our Instagram, so make sure you go follow us at Restart CBD. I'll also post a link down below. And if you want to take on the challenge, anyone who completes all 30 days will be able in the running to win a month supply of CBD oil from us.
a good question. What do you recommend for sleep? So we have some specific products that we sell at Restart CBD that are heavier in cannabinoids called CBG and CBN. Those two cannabinoids are known more as a quote unquote sleep aid as opposed to CBD is more of just a tranquilizing, calming effect on the body. Um, there's great benefits to all these cannabinoids and they, when they work together is really where you find the magic. But we do have a CBG, CBD ratio strain um, oil. We also have a CBD, CBN ratio oil. And then beyond that, if you're super, super, super into Delta 8 and really want to try a THC heavy product, we have Delta 8 CBN oil. Y'all, the feedback on the Delta 8 CBN oil, if you are really having trouble sleeping, is good night. It's phenomenal, phenomenal. I cannot express enough how much every single customer coming in is like, holy crap, that completely changed the game for my sleep. So if you're open to THC, you're open to Delta 8, know that we have that Delta 8 CBN sublingual oil and it is nice. Follow up question, I guess going into this, um, is what's the best way to take Delta 8 CBN? And like I said, we offer it in a sublingual oil. Another way we offer it is in a gummy. So if you don't wanna take a sublingual oil or the oil kind of freaks you out a little bit, gummies are a great alternative. And we have plenty of Delta 8, plenty of CBD and that Delta 8 CBN combo also comes in a gummy form, which are amazing. Thinking about getting into tinctures, and just a little side note, a tincture means it's a water soluble, an oil, a sublingual, is mainly an oil form. So we at Restart don't sell tinctures, we sell sublingual oils, but that's just a vocabulary lesson on kind of the ins and outs of um, being in the industry. So when something is a tincture, just know that that is a water soluble formula that we at Restart don't sell, but we sell our sublingual oils. I only bring it up because a lot of people call it tinctures and we have to correct them and I feel kind of bad, but you don't know until, you know, someone tells you. So I'm here telling you, sublingual oils people. So thinking about getting into tinctures, cannabis kind, and some say one-to-one, -one, what is that? When you go to a legal state, um, a lot of dispensaries sell things in a one to one ratio, a one to 20 ratio. And what that means, it, it is, let's say it's a 10 milligram gummy. Half of it is CBD, half of it is THC. So it's five milligrams of CBD, five milligrams of THC. It combines to make it a one to one ratio of 10 milligrams total. So at Restart, our CBN oil and our CBG oil are both one to one ratioed oils, half CBD, half either CBG or CBN, just so you're aware of that. Next question, a lot of you guys have problems with sleep, which <laughs> CBD can definitely help with that. Best restart edibles for getting to sleep and staying asleep. Again, like I said, I kind of reiterated before, anything with CBG, anything with CBN, anything with Delta 8, and like I said, the Delta 8 CBN, you are going to sleep like a baby. Sleep like a baby, I promise. I mean, Again, every body has a different experience, but the feedback from every single person who's tried that combo, and usually there's at least one or two that like don't have great results with it, every single person has been like, Delta 8 CBN, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. All right, this is a cool question, just a little bit more personal. Why did you start using CBD and how did it help? For me, my background story, you can read more about it on restartcbd.com in our about page, but I was a collegiate athlete at the University of Texas. I was a swimmer and I studied nutrition while I was there. In that, during that time, I was always, you know, I was learning more about food, about my body, about health. It was really trying to avoid any sort of medications. So even things like Advil, I tried to avoid just because there is, for me personally, just not some, you know, the pros did not weigh the cons or vice versa, however that saying goes. And so I was trying to find an alternative and my mom actually introduced my older sister who was in a car wreck to CBD because she was trying to recover from a car wreck. She tried to introduce it to me as a re workout recovery and I wasn't super into it because I was never someone who, you know, enjoyed cannabis at all. And I very much had a negative connotation towards cannabis. And it wasn't until my older sister started to find results with CBD that it kind of turned my mind around to using CBD. I was like, you know what? I mean, I work out. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's this thing my mom found. Let me just try it. And I really started to get into it. And then that was about five or six years ago. And fast forward, 
now I take it every single day. Some form of cannabis I am taking every single day. And to be saying that on the internet and to be admitting to that and being super proud of it is something that I never would have done even just a couple years ago. Um, even when we started the business, I didn't really want to tell people that I was taking CBD for some reason. I still had that kind of iffy connotation. But again, the more I've been around it, the more I learn about it, the more education that comes out, the more research that is done, is just and also personal experience. It just solidifies that what this plant does for people is truly incredible. And if you find a really amazing source and if you really give it a chance, it can do amazing, amazing things for your body. So I started using it just as a post-workout recovery for my muscles, for my joints, um, and it helped a lot. And again, I still take it to this day and I am loving the results. Let's see, last question. Which one do I wanna pick? There's a few of them, but I don't really know which one I wanna do. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, I'll do this one, I'll do this one. What is the difference between full spectrum CBD and isolate CBD, and is one better over the other? To explain the difference between the two, full spectrum, think full plant. So it's a full plant profile with CBD, THC, other cannabinoids, terpenes. Think of a plant just being squashed and put into a bottle um, with oil. That's why it's called a sublingual oil. And in that, again, you have all those cannabinoids working together. You have that 0.3% of THC or below, and you have a good amount of CBD. But when you think of a pie chart in a full spectrum, each pie slice takes up more and more of that pie. So in an isolate product, which is just CBD taken out of the plant and there's no other cannabinoids, no terpenes, that pie chart is now full of just CBD. Both are great options, both are amazing. This one doesn't have THC, this one does. Even though this one is not gonna make you feel high at all, it does have the potential to show up at a drug test. I personally was being drug tested in college um, and so I couldn't consume full spectrum products because I was worried about popping dirty on them. And so I started with an isolate and still to this day, I take an isolate oil about 90% of the time. The only reason I would ever usually use a full spectrum <laughs> or another oil um, is if I'm using like Delta 8 or something, something more recreational in that sense. When I take either one of them, my body responds pretty similarly, but everyone's a little bit different, so I don't think one is better over the other, but I think they both have great benefits and a, kind of like a pros and cons list of what you're looking for and what you're wanting out of it, and ultimately you just have to try it out and see which one you like the best. Both of our oils, or any of our oils really that are human products, are based in MCT oil, which is a coconut oil, MCT stands for medium chain triglyceride your body likes it your brain likes it it's like a high octane oil that your body processes really easily um, and so in an isolate product since it's a really pure product we use a co2 extraction that product really just tastes like coconut oil it's super subtle it's nothing crazy it's really nice the full spectrum even though it's processed co2 even though it's a high quality that one does have a slight hemp flavor to it so if you don't like the flavor of marijuana you might not like that one um, but it's, again, it's not super strong. I've tasted a lot of CBD oils in my life um, leading up to this point, and I definitely had some that I had to spit out. <laughs> and these are not that, these are not that. They're really, really high quality products. I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm tooting my own horn here because it's my business with my sisters, but honestly, like, I, we only want to provide the best for you guys because we found that it helps us. We found what works and what doesn't, and why would I want, ever want someone to have a bad experience with cannabis? That's not the end goal. The end goal is to, you know, have everybody find their path with cannabis and CBD, THC, whatever it is, and have the best experience they possibly can, and obviously tell your friends because we want everybody on this natural path, this green path. Um, and then also really quickly, I slip full spectrum. There is something on the market that's called a broad spectrum and broad spectrum means it's a full plant profile, but there is still no THC at all in it. Um, just throw that out there. We sell a broad spectrum, but it's not as popular, so we just really stick to isolate full spectrum, but there are brands that go for broad spectrum. That kind of wraps up our Q&A. I hope it was helpful. If y'all have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. You can always DM us on Instagram. We're happy to answer them, happy to be there, happy to help, and we'll see you in another video. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at RestartCBD. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and then shop with us online or in-store at RestartCBD.com. Bye. We'll get real love. We'll get real.